Guys, in this video, I'm bringing you the best defense in Madden 22. What's going on, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is focusing in on helping people become the best Madden players in the Madden community. So if you want to get access to those videos, I would encourage you to go ahead and click the subscribe button down below. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel, and it just absolutely helps you get access to those contents, lets you know whenever we release new content. Now, if you're new to the channel, like I said, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I also wanted to let you know that I have released my first defensive guide. It's the New York Giants playbook. And I think the New York Giants playbook is one of the best defensive playbooks, if not the best in Madden right now. It has the 245, it has the 335 wide, 335 odd, and the 245 double A gap. It also has my favorite defense, um, or one my, my favorite defense at the end of last year. Big Nickel. Big Nickel's good this year. Big Nickel's going to be good every year. I absolutely love Big Nickel. If you haven't ran any Big Nickel, we got you covered in the defensive guide. Got 3-4 odd, 3-4 bear, 3-4 cub, 4-3 even. And then it's also got, yes, you guessed it, dime 1-4-6 and dime 2-3-6. So a lot of really good material um, in that defensive guide if you want to get access to it. Uh, we have the best best defense in the game, in my opinion. Basing out of this 3-3-5 odd is our base defense. And what I wanted to go over today was a way, a new way to run the Mike Blitz 3. And the reason why I wanted to cover this is because this is actually going to give you the, the um, potential to get some A-gap pressure alongside of your edge pressure. All right, guys, so the play is 3-3-5 wide, and we're going to come out in it. It's Mike Blitz O. You could also do Mike Blitz 3, um, either one. What I love about 3-3-5 wide, what most people really like about this is that it is so easy um, in my opinion, to get the pressure set up so fast, and it allows you to make a lot of coverage adjustments, which in this year's game, we definitely need the opportunity to be able to do that. So uh, I'm just gonna go over Mike Blitz. Oh, I think it's an easier blitz. And I honestly think it might even have better coverage this year because of how bad zone coverages are. But anyways, Mike Blitz zero. And all we're going to do, th this is what makes it so good. It's The setup is so simple. All we're going to do is we're going to crash our line down and then we're going to use her right here. And at the snap of the ball, what you're going to see is you're going to absolutely screen. This pressure is really, really, really fast off of the edge. Let me show you again. I'm just crashing my line down, that's it. And then I just kind of bring this guy over the A-gap and you see it just completely fly in every single time. That's why it's so good. It's so simple to set up. Now there's some advanced stuff you could do. One of the things you could do is you could pinch your defense and do the same adjustment. Let me show you how that looks this year. You'll see the pressure is gonna come. Now that actually is gonna give you a little bit more of a chance of getting pressure through the A-gap. Um, you could also, if you wanted to, you could contain rush out the outside. That'll help a little bit with like mobile quarterbacks, as you can see. But my opinion, my opinion, at least right now, this blitz is best if you don't contain. Um, and the reason why it's so much better if you don't contain is because of the fact that the contain angles can kind of make them run a little slower. This is a, we want this blitz to come in really fast. That's the whole point of it, right? So snap the ball, and as you see, we just scream off that left edge. Now, what I will tell you is sometimes in this year's game, you don't have to do anything. If you just stand right here, you'll see the pressure will come in, as you saw right there. You don't have to crash your line down. But when you crash your line down, at least in this year's game, there are times where you will get a disengage or you will get something through the A-gap. The big thing, it, it does have to do a little bit with your user. So, um, but, but what I like about this is everybody's in man coverage. You don't have to cover anybody. You have complete freedom to be able to do whatever you wanna do. So when you come down, if I were to come down and then just hold left trigger kind of right in here, that was a bad lurk on my part. But what you can do, and what I've found to be very successful, at least at this point in the game, from a blitzing perspective is you can also go ahead and you, if you stand kind of right off this right side, like to the right of the nose tackle and then come down and go to the left, watch what happens. You're gonna kind of glitch out the line. You see how they're fighting in the middle? That's that's really good, especially in Mutt. In Mutt, what you're gonna see is you're gonna have like really good, like Aaron Donald or you know Miles Garrett or those guys. They Not only are they gonna get one-on-ones, but occasionally you will get someone completely come in free. Um, not able to get it so far in this video, but if you go watch any pro player um, that does this, you'll see occasionally, not every time, but occasionally they will get an A-gap guy right through the middle. So again, it's just this little swap exchange. You see how they're kind of stumbling over each other, but 
this is so much more consistent, in my opinion, too. What we were doing last year was we crashed our line out, and then we basically did this. That's not as consistent. As you see right there, it's not very – see, it didn't come in. A lot of pro players are having trouble getting this to come in. So this is a little bit more consistent, and it's honestly super easy to set up. You don't even have to come down, man. You can just stay back here. There's the A-gap pressure I'm talking about. You saw right there. So let me just go into this replay and show you what happened. But like I said, you can get this. I mean, it's so easy to set up, man. It's like it literally takes a second. But watch this A gap. You'll see it's just a disengage. See that right there? That's the, that's the idea. Now, like I said, there's a million and one things you can do with this. But this is the simple form of it. And then what you can do is you can kind of fake it. So I can run a three man. So I'm just going to crash my line down. And then now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put both linebackers in coverage. And I'm going to shade my coverage up. And now I've got pretty decent coverage, as about as good as you can get in Madden right now. Uh, decent man coverage across the board. And then as you see, they're just going to fight. What I like about this, this crashing down pressure approach this year, um, I think you're going to find that they're a little bit better than you think. Um, the crashing line down approach, in my opinion, is something that you should definitely try out. Um, I just find it to be, you know, pretty decent, honestly. Um, and as you can see here, you know, it's just a base pass, base uh, coverage D. You're just lurking in the middle and waiting for a shed, basically. But I love how fast this is to set up. It really is so simple. You just move this guy down. Just a, you don't even have to move him down, like I said. And there you see there's the A-gap pressure coming through once again. Now, you're noticing that when I don't move my guy down, so like if I stay just like this and don't move, you'll see you might get more A-gap pressure, but it does kind of kill your edge pressure, right? That's, that's kind of the thing. Um, another thing you could do is you could spread your line and crash them down. It's just basically all different ways. It's, you see there we got a DTA gap over the middle because, again, your, your user's coming right down the middle, right? So when you spread them, if you leave this guy kind of back off just about five yards, look at this pressure. You might get a disengage. You might get a something on that. Um, obviously, if you want the clear cut, like easy pressure, just crash your line down, stand right here and you scream off the edge every time, okay? But I just wanted to give you some more concepts with this. This is everything um, the pros are doing. Obviously, we've got more in-depth stuff broken down in our defensive guide, but I would encourage you to pick it up. There's a link in the description. You can get that defense right now for just 15 bucks. Super good deal, in my opinion. Highly encourage you to take advantage of it. If you're struggling on defense and you want a solution, um, this defense also is going to be updating for the first month of the game as the game is kind of getting patched and zones are changing. We're going to consistently update that more so on the lines of the coverages. And if any of our blitzes happen to get patched, I don't think they will. Uh, but just in case they do, we're going to have material for you. We're going to have you ready. So if you want a good defense in this year's game, in my opinion, this is the best defense you can get right now. Um, so it's on sale for just 15 bucks in the description. There's a link down below that you can go get it. Thanks for watching this video. If you ever want to see me run this defense live, just come on over to the stream. I stream pretty much every single day on my YouTube channel.